What is up, guys and gals? Welcome back to the Nerd Castle for the next episode of Slime Rancher. My name is Splattercat. Very, very happy to have you here today as we hang out for a little while. And hopefully, I got a couple roostros over here. I may transfer them over to this pen so that we can actually have like full on chicken production. And then I can take all these tabby slimes and keep them well sated. However, welcome all back to the Nerd Castle for the next episode of Slime Rancher, a game that I like a lot. And so I just wanted to give it a little bit of exposure here on the tubes is. I hope you're enjoying the series as well. In today's episode, I'm not totally sure what all the things we're going to accomplish are going to be, but I can assure you it's going to be a lot of fun. For now, I wanted to upgrade this other chicken coop. So let's go ahead and I'm going to throw in all the upgrades on this one too so that we got lots of chickens rocking. It's going to cost a pretty sizable amount of cash, but I think it's going to be worth it in the long term. Because if I can just manage to keep all these tabby slimes fed, it's going to be incredibly profitable for us. We're going to make a lot of money. We're going to make a lot of money together, you and I. So anyways, let's go ahead and we're going to go to bed for the night. I think that I needed to get my heartbeats grown. Oh, it swapped over on me. Damn, got so close on it too. They want four roostros. Now that I can't do. Roostros are too bad. That's unfortunate because I wasted a lot of resources on that thing. It needs to have a, maybe if they put a timer on top of it, like a big alarm clock type thing up here that says how many hours you have left. Maybe it says right here. Does it say? Yeah, that's one thing that I would add. Just me personally, just as a little critique here. Maybe add a clock to it somewhere so that you know how long you have to work on each of the challenges. Whether it's, it's probably like one day or something really obvious that I just didn't notice. Do we have anybody else here? Nope, nobody else here, so we're good. Let's rest till morning and see what we can get done. I love the fact that, like, the game isn't even in early access yet, and yet it saves, and, like, all the moving parts work the way that they're supposed to. Like, this is the kind of polish that I like to see in an early access game. Like, nothing broken, everything working the way that it's supposed to, nothing to, like, lose your mind and get frustrated over, you know what I mean? Like, we got a bunch of... Oh, we just got one. Okay, so they're gonna need some chickens in here. Let's go ahead and grab some of these hens. I'm going to take from the big pen first because they're going to repopulate a little bit quicker. And we should have enough hens now to actually feed these guys really, really easily. So let's fill up the hen catcher right there. It should spit out a hen every now and again, which should keep us getting paid, fed, all that fun stuff. We got to make some more money. We got enough roostros over here to where... How are they... Oh, I got to put a mesh over the top of that thing. It is not working for me right now. Luckily, at least these ones don't try and chew on my face whenever I come in the pen. So that's a big, big, big plus. I'd like some of them to turn into one of the big kitties, though. Maybe you can only get the large O's if you, like, cross them on over or something. A couple of plorts out of there, too, to get some cash money for the day. Some spending ducats before we go any further into our adventures here. That gives us enough for a couple of upgrades. I'll take it. Everything's evened out right now. The market's a little bit meh. Could be a lot better. Don't know how I get the slime key. Haven't played around with that just yet. We got heartbeats on this side, and he wanted... Okay. So we got all kinds of random stuff that needs to get done. Let's get started then. We got the heartbeats. I will probably install a hopper. I think when you feed them heartbeats, maybe... Actually, I don't know what happens when you give them something they like. I, I don't know what happens if you stick to like their favorite foods or whatever. No idea. I'm going to go ahead and install a plort collector in here. Because this one's getting kind of dangerous to go into. They're starting to knock off like half my health every single time I go in. And that's got me feeling pretty nervous about it actually. I, I have not enjoyed going in there lately. Keep them all fed. And an escaped hen over here. Well, escaped hen. That's going to be troublesome for you. Because I'm now going to feed you to the pen. So it looks like they're actually climbing out. That's pretty funny that they attempt to do that. That's pretty clever. <laughs> Pretty clever. I gotta put a net over the top of this guy. So, first things first. We'll get it all done. On this side, how many heartbeats did he want? He wanted four roostros and a bunch of heartbeats. And what was the reward for it? 33 carrots and some tabby plorts. That's actually totally not worth it. So, I'm not even gonna go in on that one. Not gonna dignify that one with a response. I'm actually just gonna suck up everything in here. And then we'll redeploy it all once we're done. Because that seems to be the safest way to get this thing cleared out. There. And those rock plorts should allow us to make a pretty decent amount of money so that we can get back to upgrading things. Rock plorts are up right now, only by a little bit though. It's still more than enough to get us started. I'm not I'm not upset about okay, so let's throw the mesh over the kitty cage over here. 
because they keep getting out and it's becoming kind of a babysitting duty that I got to take care of. I'm going to go with a air net right there. So that should keep them inside. Looking good. Everybody's nice and contained. We could probably do with a few more phosphor slimes. I may go out tonight and try to harvest a couple. I think it might be worth the effort. We've got more than enough cats over there. I think that should be okay. Looks like some of them are actually hungry. Why is the hopper not feeding him quickly enough? Here, let me throw some hens in here real fast. See if I can kind of draw them away from the feeder. Yeah, that looks like their gathering point. I think they're all bunching up on the feeder. Okay. Where did my roostro go? This vanishing roostro problem I seem to have is an issue. There we go. We'll go ahead and feed him for right now. Let me migrate a roostro over. I swear to God, I just had a roostro in here. So anyways, that should allow them to breed a little bit quicker. We only got a couple of hens in here, so it's probably going to be a while before we start producing a few more chickens. Looking good, though. Flipping them chickens out on the corner. You know how they do. You know how we do. Nothing inside of our plort collector just yet, but it'll fill up. We'll throw some heartbeats in here. Keep them nice and fed. Hopefully not get our ass whooped. That would also be pleasurable. Yeah, we got our ass whooped once, but I'll take it. Got a little bit of cash left over. I'm going to turn in these phosphor plorts. And let's unlock the next neighboring zone right over here. Some of these Q-berries, too. Perfect. Absolutely awesome. So what is this place called? The Overgrowth. Let's go ahead and unlock that, and we'll take a look at it and see what's available in this area. Is there anything over this wall right here? No, nothing over that wall. That's fine. So the Overgrowth. This actually looks like kind of a little sunny area where you could leave your chickens at. I think those pogo fruits are rotten. Once they get that blackish color where they've been laying on the ground for a while, I think this is pretty much just one for one. It's exactly what it said on the box. It's just an expansion of our area. Although it comes with some freebie plots, which is actually a really, really good thing. Normally, I don't like it when my farmland is plotting against me, but in this case, it comes with like some carrot growths. It comes with a couple of actual pogo fruit plants, too. What's on this little central dais or whatever you want to call it? Okay. It's just kind of like an overlook area so you can look at all your stuff. Cool. All right. That were, no, that's great. I mean, I, I wasn't expecting anything fantastic out of this area, and it turned out to actually exceed expectations. So that's good. We're going to need to find new areas to house some slimes, though. We are also going to have to find a new area to... I don't know. we got to get a slime key somehow, and I don't know exactly how to do that. Part of me wants to migrate some of these little guys over and into here. We need to upgrade our farming situation, though, too. So what can I do if I push that button... Oh, you can open and close it like you can seal it off just in case the tar get out of control or something. Okay. Got anything accumulating over here? 15. Oh, my God. We got money coming in on this side. All right. Cash money. Cash money. Let's get ourselves paid real quick, shall we? I wanted to build a silo right here. I don't know what the silo does. You can't take it with you when you go, so put it in storage. I don't know really what that entails, but if I put a silo over here, does it just hold, like, one kind of food? I don't know exactly what to expect from it. Got a bunch of pogo fruits in there on this side. Oh, my God, we got so many... Yeah, kitty plorts. Let me get those things. My kitty made a plort a little bit ago. It stuck up my entire house. It was quite nasty. My kitty plorts frequently, though. He is a, he's a master of plort foo. Sometimes I think my cats don't do anything but eat shit and piss, to be honest. It's amazing the sheer amount of just, like, waste they produce. When you really think about it. So what does this do? Additional storage. Silo has four ports for storing... Oh, okay. For storing plorts and resources. Okay, so that's way better. I was going to say, if it had... And I can do that expansion multiple times. Ah, okay, so we got it now. Let's use this as Q-berry storage for right now. This will be pogo fruit storage so that it doesn't go bad. Looking good. Looking very, very good. I'm happy right now. Our, our little farmland, it's really satisfying watching something grow as you've produced it. I don't really know how to describe that to people, but I really do think 
that that's one of the big things about sandbox gaming that people like is that you get to sit there and you get to stand back at the end of it and be like, look at all this stuff that we've produced. Like, we've created all these little things right here. Just us in the game, hanging out for a little while. I... He wants some rock slimes and some pink slimes, huh? What are they going to trade for that? Heartbeats and carrots? Victor Humphreys. Don't think that one's really worth it to go in on that. Let's go out this way. I wanted to figure out... we got to figure out what we can do with... Some of these slime-related sundries out here. Like, I don't even really know what to expect. From some of just, like, the little things. I mean, there's so many plorts out here. Like, oh my god. Like, not huge volumes of plorts, but... Enough, you know? Like, there are a lot of plorts out here. It might be worth it to drag and drop them all back over to this side. Oh, that's not really what I wanted either. But if I do this, and we unload all these plorts over here, I want to know what this thing does. Like, I don't see a little interaction pedestal around it, so I don't know what to expect from it. But... It seems like it's for something. I don't really need carrots right now, so I'm just going to launch those off that way and hope that they're, like, away from me. I mean, I suppose I could silo them up if I was really in the mood to do so. Luckily for me, however, not in the mood, so there you go. Responsibility averted. You guys need to stop eating so much out here. You know, eating up all the food. Non-contributing zeros. Come on. There we go. Got a bunch of that stuff. Got a whole bunch of chicks out here, too. I guess some more chickadoos. It would not upset me. So extra inventory space would be great, too. I should look and see if there's an upgrade for inventory space. That would be my jam. I think there's a pogo fruit down here, too. I think they could add it, by the way, about the jetpack, I think they could add a little bit more boost to it. Right now, it's almost like a levitation, whereas... You don't really get much thrust from it. It doesn't feel like you have a jetpack. It feels like you have a thing that lets you levitate for a little while. Or maybe like hover hop for a bit. If that's as intended, then never mind. Ignore my protestations. However, if that is not how it's intended, if it's actually supposed to feel like a jetpack, right now it's not giving me that jetpacky feeling. I don't even know what to feed this monster over here. A bunch of rock plorts on this side, though. I might be able to make a small bit of cash if I can ski through here and grab the lot of it. For the slime key, I don't know how we make the slime key. That is a question that, as of right now, I have not resolved the answer to. Ow. Okay, I get it. You're the big boss, man. You're the big boss. I accept. We got a rooster over there, which is tempting. Couple of roostros. I'm always out of roostros. I never have them, like, ever. Let's go back out this way. I wanted to take a look at this. And maybe see if we can figure out a way to get this to work for us. There's a rock plort over there, but I'll see if I can pick it up in just a minute. Oh, man. Oh, a bunch of rock slimes in here. Getting it done. So we walk out this way. Maybe you got to feed them their favorite food. Like the cats like the stony things. What do the pink slimes like the best? I thought they liked everything. They don't have a favorite. So it's heartbeats for the rock guys. The fopper slimes. It's the Q-berry. So maybe that's why I couldn't get the pink slime to trigger? I don't really know. We gotta find the slime key, though, so we can go further into the game. Like, I assume that since the market is working for some of the other stuff, there are lava slimes and things like that in the area. And, like, emerald slimes and all kinds of other types that we can deal with. However, until we figure out how to get the slime key out of this location, I think we're kind of on our own. I don't want to fall off anything right now. It'll hurt. Where does this go to? It's like nowhere, just like a loot crate. Okay. Maybe the slime key comes from one of the crates. It's the only other thing that I really considered here. Or hadn't considered. Let's see if I can break this thing real fast. There's a pink slime and a pogo fruit. So this requires a slime key in order to open. How do we get a slime key? I assume like a king of the slimes or something would have the slime key. Maybe I should start stocking up food and maybe seeing if I could throw it at some of the big guys that are at some of the other little areas. Might help out a bit. Maybe start with some of their favorites as well. Still, we're about to make some money. So let's go back to base. I wanted to drop off some of these plorts. Make sure that we get paid. I do want these rock plorts too. Oh, never mind. That's not a plort. That is an entire slime. Don't feel like 
facing the music right there. Whew, what a game, what a game, what a game. Keep an eye out for rock plorts on our way back, too, like that one right there. Free ranging. Gathering them plorts. In the open range. Gotta do what you gotta do. If you can get it for free, why are you gonna spend money on it? Get out of the boo-boo? That just seems like it'd be... That just seems like it'd be rule number one. Don't spend nothing if you don't have to. Let's suck up this crate real fast and see what falls out. Nothing. Just a chicken. Alright. Not that excited by chickens. Oh, we got another phosphor slime over here. I suppose we could stock up our farm with a few more phosphor slimes and expand that out. But our money-making operation is so lucrative at this point that I'm really not stressing about it anymore. Yeah, we could probably use like five or six more in there, but not a big deal. Let's get paid. Looks like the price has gone down sharply on pink plorts. However, it's still profitable. It's still 120 for a stack. And honestly, it just felt like a waste to me to leave that many laying on the ground. When there's so obviously a way for you to make like a big... It's not a huge profit, but it's a way to like advance a little bit. Fire him off into the ocean so we ain't got to deal with him no more. Got any new mail? It's day 8. We haven't talked to anybody new in a bit. Victor Humphreys. We already had Victor Humphreys. But I think we haven't had Oscar whoever. Or I think Ortega or whatever his name is. I don't think he's actually hit us up just yet. Got a whole bunch of plorts going on in here. Good for you guys. Did we get paid today? We got paid today. We get paid every day. This is a lucrative business to be in. I'll tell you that much. Get my tabby plorts out of there so I can get paid again. Chickens are not coming through at a rate that I find to be satisfactory. Coming through, but not that fast. They're working on it, but... 18 rock plorts over here. Oh, we are about to make us some cash. Let's go ahead and throw those pogo fruits in there. Perfect. And we'll drop off all these plorts. Get paid because the market... Actually, it looks like it's evened out right now. Doesn't really matter. I mean, we got so much money that it's like, what, do we, what else do you want out of this, you know? I will probably upgrade some of these. So we got nutrient soil, so we get maximum harvest. We'll go sprinklers. I'm sure right there, it's like a little cannon, I like that. And then a scare slime, just in case. Yeah, that's pretty creepy. I don't know if I'd set that up in the corner of my room. It might be a little bit upsetting. Might be a little bit upsetting to the- Can I shoot water on this right here to make it like grow better? I don't think that I can. Still, it seemed like an okay idea to me. Looks like they're growing on in. We might want to take a little break till tomorrow. Although I think we gotta feed some of our kitties too. Nah, they look pretty happy. They don't seem that upset to me. Got my rock plorts right. Oh no, I didn't get paid over here neither. Well damn, son. We are in the market to get cash right now. We're out here getting it. That's what I like to see. Revitalize that wallet a little bit. And then we'll upgrade this field right here. We're not going to be able to get everything, but we can get the two that matter. The scare slime shouldn't be that big of a deal because we don't have that many things coming in here to mess with us. Is it just me? It seems like a lot of the designs are very Nintendo-like. That's a lot of the things in this game. They strike me as the sort of things that like a Nintendo intellectual property would have when they're fiddling around with stuff. I don't know. I like it. Feels clean. It feels good. It feels fun. Wholesome. All that stuff. We'll sleep till the next day. Getting up at 6 a.m., man. Being a farmer is hard. I don't know if I can handle this ish. These guys over here are going to need a feeding pretty shortly. I think they're hanging out and doing all right. We got six more plorts on this side. We'll go see how the plort market's looking before we do anything else today. Gather those on up since the plort gatherer seems to be a little bit off. Kitties are starving. That's the exact same look that my cat gives me at 5 in the morning when he wakes me up for breakfast. My cat gets a little rowdy. A little bit early in the morning. He... He does not like to go without. He's grown accustomed to a certain lifestyle since he came to live with me. And that lifestyle is having food available 24 hours a day. A little bit more cash right there. It's not a lot, but it's something. 
Heartbeat Farm, producing a little bit of fruit for us. Hopefully we'll get multiple harvests out today. That would be my favorite way to get it done. Not super amazing harvests right there, and in fact, a little worried about it. Nope, you don't need that. That's mine. Hold on. Let me get my heartbeat back. You ain't gonna eat it anyways. It's just gonna lay here. There we go. Give them a little bit more food. These guys needed the heartbeats up here. So we'll go ahead and feed all these little gremlins. Looking good. Not gonna mess with the plorts just yet. I think... I'm gonna try something out here at the end of this episode. I wanna feed that big pink slime and kinda just like see what happens. I hear... I don't wanna waste those pogo fruits if they rot on the ground. We've got cuberries over here. I'll probably take those for another little harvest. I don't have a lot of carrots or anything laying around. I thought there was tar. I got scared by my own tar scarecrow. My scare tar or whatever you want to call it. Oh, I thought they were invading. I thought they were taking me out. I thought they were riding. Riding and or dying in varying qu quantities and qualities. Yeah, I don't know if you just need to shovel food into that random critter over there. Or how this is going to play out, but we're going to try it. Some more carrots over here. Grab those. Trying to get a big fistful. Like more than we've ever tried to feed him before. Okay, so we got some pink stuff right there. What was over here? I think we had like both types of fruit on this side. I'm going to helicopter my way on in here. Yeah, we got a couple of carrots in there, so I'll take those. If I got a full stack of carrots, a full stack of cuberries, a full stack of like everything that we have. I'm hoping we'll try to, we'll be able to make some kind of difference. Do the slimes eat meat too? Oh, they'll eat meat too. So technically I could load up on chickens as well and feed them chickens. It's worth a shot. I mean, we ain't got nothing else going on. Might as well get out and in here and see what food we can gather because this is the big thing that I wanted to do in this episode is try and solve this guy over here and figure out what's going on with him. Chickens, chickadoos, and me without my water. Under attack by Tars, and me without my water. Here, come here, chickens. You are welcome to join me in my adventures. I think that Tar will eventually decide that he wants to be friends with me. So I'm going to launch him into the lake right now. The only thing I know, if we feed him this volume of food and he's still perfectly fine, the only thing that I know how to try after that point is maybe to feed him a different type of... Is maybe to feed him a different type of plort and see if perhaps maybe he evolves and becomes like a Megatar or something like that. If that's the way that it goes down, then yes indeed, we will have some sorting to do. I'll try and grab another stack of carrots and cuberries from back here if I can manage it. A whole bunch of chickens in the vicinity too. Would not hate to have a couple stacks of chickens. There's my carrots. I knew I'd find them. We'll see what he does. My assumption is that maybe after you make all the big slimes happy, then they give you the slime key or something like that. They clearly want to be fed because they go glorp whenever you feed them something, so we'll just have to keep an eye on it. Alright, we got enough food right now to where if this volume doesn't work, I'm going to assume that maybe I'm just barking up the wrong tree and doing it wrong. Let's run back over here. Chickens, come with me. I could use some more roostros, but no inventory space in no time. I'm hoping I get to upgrade my inventory space at some point. That'd be really, really good if I could have like six or seven hot slots. That'd be my jam. All right, big guy. Let's see if we can get you fed. Fingers crossed, everybody. Huh. Oh, cool. What is that? Is that our key? Yeah, it looks like that gave us access to a whole bunch of stuff right here. Let's go ahead and destroy that. I want the Q berries, so please don't eat those. If I could have the Q berries, I'll be fine here. You guys can have the pogo fruits or whatever. I don't care a lick about those. So we got slime keys, an ancient key for an ancient lock. So maybe this is the way that we get through there. Was it a slime king's key or was it just a slime key in general? Had to be a slime key in general, right? 
Is there a bridge? Because oh, that looks like one of the slime gates right there, too. Like, maybe it's in development. It's not going to... No, never mind. It's just columnar joining. Columnar joining, it's a fracture pattern that you get in certain areas. Certain types of stones, certain types of things. Don't worry about it. It's fine. It's not important. It's not important to the lecture right now. But we got our first slime key, so maybe we can work that around. Maybe that whole area loops around that way so that we can get into bigger and better zones. I'm having a good time so far, and I want to get some of the rarer slimes. My my Pokemon collector sense is tangling right now. I want it very, very badly. Anyways, we're out of time for the day. My name is Splattercat. In the next episode at the beginning, we're going to crack open this gate, and I hope that you will join me. We're playing Slime Rancher here at the Nerd Castle. Check it on out. we got a tar on that side. That's unfortunate. I'm just going to ignore him for right now. There's too many tar. Actually, I wanted to test this out. Hold on. We're not going to end the episode just yet. I want to test out water on these tars. All right, so let me test this real fast. But anyways, I appreciate you guys stopping by and hanging out with me. Yeah, it looks like it does some kind of damage, so it's a weapon we can use. I, I just saved your lives, and then you headbutt me to death. Bastards. Anyways, my name is Splattercat. I will see you all later. Thank you for joining me here at the Nerdcast for Slime Rancher, a game that I like a lot. I will see you all next time. Bye, everybody.